The materials, a lot of materials, for example, the posters, they were very colorful. It was easy and simple to read. And the children feel proud that they could understand and they could use the material. The deaf persons were also um, involved. There's a game tool that the students can use and it's easy to use and give them a sense of pride that they could use the game and feel good about using it. What have you learned from these materials that were developed? I learned a lot from the materials. There were different kinds. There were the flip charts, I, which I used with my class. Most of the, the students were surprised. They looked at the pictures. The pictures don't lie. Sometimes you tell them something and they don't believe you, but when they see the facts, when they talk about the diseases and the sexual transmitted diseases, it really helped them. And that's how I used the material. The material was really good because it's simple, the words and the pictures. It was easy for them to see the material, to connect with the material. It wasn't hard and over their heads. It was something that they could, could interact with. It was a variety of material. We used pictures that were familiar to them and they could understand. We also used material from the I Am Deaf 2 project and that shows deaf, successful deaf persons and we had material that the children could touch like condom, the female condom. Many had not seen that type of material before, but they could touch a female condom and they could see the pictures. It was really good. How has the material that was developed influenced your work with teenagers? It's really wonderful. When they have the material there to use, especially like the fish chart, the teenagers are interested, they can connect with it. It really influences them. And it's a time where we can share what they know and what I know, what they have seen and what they have experienced. For example, um, germs, infection. Okay, so we're talking about sexual transmitted diseases. And there are, there are different kinds of sexual transmitted diseases. And there are a lot of information about these diseases that we could share with the students. Also, the students would feel free to manipulate, manipulate the information. They could be used drawings. They were, we used drawings and demonstrations. We also used the posters where they, that they could see and could ask questions about. It, the material was really good. They also had books too that they could look at and, and touch.